Hello, Spider fans and Central Virginia football fans. Uh, Satchmo back uh, with Delaware. But before I talk about the Blue Hens, I want to share a few uh, observations about that uh, great celebration uh, at the uh, Brick House for the Elon uh, victory. Three things uh, Satchmo really likes about this uh, team at this point in the season is their ability uh, to persevere and face uh, adversity. After that Hail Murray that tied up the game on the uh, last play of regulation, it would have been uh, real easy to hang your heads and uh, take it on home. I think our guys and the coaching staff showed what they're made of, and that's uh, special. I also uh, like how special our special teams are. Obviously, blocking that field goal attempt in the overtime was critical, but how about that 42-yard field goal our kicker uh, made at the end of the game? It might have been uh, good from 50, and it was at clutch time. And thirdly, I love that Spider fan mojo that uh, fans brought to the stadium last week. It may have been just what pushed us by the uh, tough uh, Phoenix. So now let's talk about uh, Delaware. You know, it'd be great if we uh, got a break, but all we've got uh, with the Blue Hens is an undefeated uh, top-ranked team coming in to play us at the Brick House again. But you know what? I'm going to drop a trendy cliche on you. I don't think uh, the Blue Hens know who they are yet. They've played uh, three overmatched opponents and just steamrolled them. No doubt about that. Now, we know they've got an All-American uh, quarterback, but we faced Riddle last week. We've been tested. I'm not sure uh, he's been tested yet. And they bring a vaunted, well-publicized running attack to the brick house. But has it been tested yet against an FCS uh, defense? Doesn't look like it to me. So there are definitely some questions about Delaware that they're going to start answering uh, this week against the Spiders, just like we started answering our own questions uh, last week. To my way of thinking, after reading and listening to everything out there uh, since last week's game, here are the three keys uh, from Satchmo's uh, point of view. I think we need to stop that vaunted running attack that Delaware is going to bring in. I think we need to establish our own consistent and effective uh, running attack so that when we need to control the ball, we're able to do so. And I think we need to keep the heat on the Delaware quarterback. And if we can do those things with the spider mojo from the fans, I think the spiders grind out another very, very tough victory. Now, I mentioned keeping the heat on the Delaware quarterback, and I'd be remiss if I didn't go over some essentials that fans are going to need out there uh, Saturday. The forecast says it could be in the upper 80s, it could be in the lower 90s, and if there's one thing we learned uh, the first week, it's going to be hot. So Satchmo is taking a sweatband, some sunglasses, some sunscreen, a wide brimmed hat, and a cooler. And make sure you have your favorite cold beverage to stay hydrated in that cooler. We want our fans to be able to hoop and holler and carry on for the whole game we can't have any fans playing out in that uh, second half. So come prepared and be ready. Now you talk about being ready, the Spider Gang uh, predictors are calling this game nine to one for the Spider's way. Take a look at these predictions. That's all for Delaware fans. Ghost Spiders win. So long for now.